Shares of Norwegian Cruise Line closing in the red today after reporting a narrower than expected quarterly loss and a miss on revenue expectations. Joining us now for a first on CBC interview is Norwegian Cruise Line CEO Frank Del Rio. Frank, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hello, Wilford. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, so I think what's been grabbing the headline most of all is, is uh, when you think you'll be ready for, for the U.S. cruises again and that July perhaps not possible. Look, we will start cruising in July, uh, but uh, it won't be from U.S. ports. We've announced cruises out of uh, Europe, out of Greece, Spain, Italy, and, and out of the Dominican Republic and Jamaica uh, over the next uh, few months. But uh, I, I uh, seriously doubt we will be able to uh, stand up a vessel uh, out of a U.S. port in July. August uh, is also in jeopardy, and it's all because of the uh, disjointed uh, uh, guidelines from the CDC. What we received yesterday was uh, uh, anything but a clear path to restarting. The the uh, the industry is willing to uh, vaccinate uh, a great majority of the vessels uh, and the people. We, as you know, uh, put forth a very uh, ironclad proposal to the CDC over a month ago, where we are uh, demanding or mandating 100% vaccinations for both crew and passengers. On top of that, we're going to layer the 74 protocols of the Healthy Sail Panel led by Dr. Scott Gottlieb uh, put together. So we believe that our vessels will be the safest place on earth. I don't know any other venue you can point to where everyone inside that venue is both vaccinated and following these protocols, not hotels, not resorts, not apartment buildings, grocery stores, hospitals, nowhere. And yet, rather than uh, ease on the uh, uh, demands uh, and the requirements by the CDC, they, they seem to double down in the cruise industry. I mean, can you imagine having to take on your mask and take off your mask in between bites uh, of your meal or in between sips of a drink? It's absurd. It doesn't happen anywhere else in, in the world, anywhere else in the United States. And, and so the unfair treatment that the industry um, has had to endure for over a year continues. Uh, it's got to stop. It's unfair. It's un-American. And uh, certainly in contradiction to the uh, goals set forth by President Biden. Um, Seventy percent of adult Americans are going to be vaccinated by this summer. Um, uh, we'll, we're going to vaccinate 100 percent of everybody on board our vessel. Uh, we are dumbfounded, quite frankly, as to why the CDC continues to uh, put forth such onerous uh, requirements that are on, in, are on our industry. I don't even understand what you're saying, Frank. So you're going to require 100 percent of the people on the cruise to be vaccinated, and the, and the CDC is saying what? CDC is saying, oh, that's nice, but you still have to go through all these uh, protocols, including 100 uh, percent masking, social distancing. And the masking is absurd that, uh, you know, even in the in the height of the pandemic in this country where you had to wear a mask inside a restaurant if the restaurant was open, when you were having your meal, when you were drinking a beverage, you can take it off. Well, if we're interpreting what the CDC's uh, guidelines said, uh, uh, stated yesterday correctly, uh, in between bites or in between sips, you got to put it back on and take it off and put it back on. It's absurd. I mean, we wouldn't put our customers through that. So mm -hmm. if that's what it's going to well, take. Restaurants don't have to do that. I don't, under, I, I don't even understand where. The, do you think it's political? I, I, you know, I, uh, I don't know what it is, uh, Sarah. I know it's absurd. I know it's outrageous. Um, and it's got to stop. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.